Okay, really quick before we start, I want everyone to know that this coming weekend, March 7th and 8th, our friends at Surfride are hosting what Surfing Magazine has called the world's largest surfboard demo. Camp Shred is a once a year opportunity to try boards and wetsuits and fins from nearly every brand that makes them for free at the Scattered Reef Breaks just down the cliff from San Alejo Campground where Camp Shred takes place March 7th and 8th. So if you live within driving distance of Cardiff-by-the-Sea, California, look down below and you'll find more info on Camp Shred. Let's start this episode. Shred Nation, this board is a massive 22 and a half inches wide, making it the most width rich board we've ever had on Shred Show, and maybe the third or fourth most volume of any board that we've ever featured, even though it's only 5'6". Now looking at all the width in this shape from rail to rail, that's not just a hint that this board could glide incredibly easy and smooth across water, but it's also a hint that this board might be very hard to fall off of compared to something more narrow that would flip over easily if you misplace your weight. That's a hint that even beginning surfers could play around on this board and it also makes it clear that this shape will fit most easily on a wave face that's kind of flat not round and barreling because if you're surfing a round faced barreling wave on a shape this wide all of this width going horizontally across the board would just become uncontrollable for most surfers now if you follow the outline back all the way to about the 12 inch mark you find that the board is still very wide at about 18 and a half inches from rail to rail that contributes even more to this shape's ability in weak waves. For example, if you can imagine yourself surfing a three foot wave and doing your bottom turn up to a little turn in the lip, you may be surprised at how fast and quickly this board shoots back down the face and just how far out you project into the flat water ahead of the wave. This outline is probably just about as far on the side of easy speed and glide as you can get. And you probably would not surf this and want to make it feel any faster or livelier than it already is, but you might surf it and want to add in more control to the speed this shape already gives you. Since nearly every bean bag that you find in Surfride and in other surf shops will come with five Futures boxes in it, that puts your choice of fins on the low end of Futures ride number scale between about numbers one and four, representing fins that feel more solid and controlled in the water. For example, the Controller Quad or Danny Fuller's Quad set both of which have a stiff fiberglass construction. Now, if you already have a thruster set, like most everyone already does, the easiest way to experiment with adding more control to the speed generating characteristics of an outline like this might be a set of TechFlex trailers with their ride number of about three because of how their carbon base and tip adds stiffness to these two fins. On the other hand, you could still experiment with making your ride on this board feel a bit more speedy and springy out of turns by choosing a ride number closer to 10. For example, the new Black Sticks quad trailers, because they're built in a different way to give them a very specific type of flex towards their tip, that you may find useful for generating more spring and projection out of your turns and pumps for speed. But really, the lower ride numbers in larger fin sizes are probably the best starting point in this shape because they're a little bit like giving Adderall to someone with ADD. This shape's already got a really fun personality and magic can happen with just a little bit of focus. For more on choosing fins with ride number, click down below. Look at the rails on this board and you can see that they're very full with a lot of volume and thickness coming out from the stringer where the board is thickest without a lot of dome happening from the stringer to the rail that would taper away foam as the board got out to here. Having this type of a full rail on this board with that type of flat deck and all the width that we just talked about really doubles down on the stability and ease of use and wave catching ability of this shape. And it probably means that you can guess what type of contours you'll find on the bottom. V with a little bit of roll, V continuing, lots of V all the way to the end. By now we all know what this type of a V does in a surfboard. If you can imagine for a second that you are Matt Biolos 
and you're surfing an early prototype of this board and you're thinking to yourself, this is really fast, but it's kind of hard to get off of a forward track and initiate a turn without just sliding. You could make your next prototype with a V throughout it like this, and that would make the board much better at tipping onto a rail. That's because shaping these panels down from the rail to get to where the stringer is from either side kind of is like a teeter-totter that misbalances the board like this and makes it just a little bit easier to tip this much width and full rails onto its side to initiate a turn. Now to wrap this up, I think this board would be fun for most any surfer on earth, regardless of skill level or age. As long as you paddle out with a relaxed attitude, looking for a fun time with high wave count and funky speed. What I like about this shape is that it is definitely not trying to be everything at once. It's just very unapologetically designed to be really fun and easy to use in the small smallest of waves for any skill level, and you probably find it most fun in about knee to chest high waves that are definitely not barely at all, but very open faced waves. And when waves get to about four and a half feet, you probably have more fun on something like an easy up or a stretch RV. Now Shred Nation, two quick things. First, to possibly win a brand new quad set from Futures or a set of quad trailers in whatever size and ride number you ask for, drop us a comment below telling us how you are using Futures ride number to pair fins with the boards you're surfing. Since this coming weekend is Surf Ride's Camp Shred, we will also send the winner that we pick at the end of the week the new Surf Ride Shaka t-shirt as well. The second thing is this, if you go to our friends at Surfride in Oceanside or Solana Beach or on the internet before March 10th and grab a beanbag for yourself, they will give you a decine pad of your choosing for free with the board. Just tell them secret code SHRED SHOW. We're really getting creative with our secret codes. As always, we hope the waves are up wherever you call home or that you've got a board that makes those bad days exciting and we'll see you soon on SHRED SHOW.